Hey there, in this video, we're gonna go over a new feature of BigCommerce called High Risk Permissions. And before we get started, my name is Cal. I'm a developer, a store owner just like you, and I run an online community for store owners like us. There'll be a link at the end. Let me share your, let me share my screen, not your screen. Let me share my screen. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is found under account settings users. And when you go to create a new user or edit an existing user, there will be, you can still you you can still assign most of your permissions just by selecting store administrator or whatever just like you always could but now there's a new section down here called high risk permissions and this is super handy now before this feature came out the only way that you could get an api created is if the owner account on a big commerce store said i want to create an api key and you know so much of the time store owners don't understand what the api keys are for or what they do or what to set a, you know on them so it was kind of a little bit awkward to get API keys when you needed them. With this new permission set, high risk permissions, you can give the user that you're creating the ability to create a new API key, to view existing API keys, or to delete API keys, or all three. Now, there's two different API keys now. There's CLI, stencil CLI keys, which uh, developers like me use to develop your store. Um, that lets us see and edit front end things uh, using stencil local. It's really nice. Blah, 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 buzzwords, but it's great for developers. It also lets you create, it also lets your developer create a V2, V3 API key. That's the type of API key that you would use to uh, connect to your store through apps, right? So that the app can talk to your store and maybe create products or you know, admin users or do something with your orders, whatever it is, this set of permissions lets your developer uh, create the API key that they need for the use uh, that they're looking to use it for, right? So this is kind of handy because it means that your developer doesn't have to bug you anymore. It is high risk permission in that they can do some things in your store by communicating in and out of your data, but um, it does make it a lot handier for them to be able to create it on your behalf. Uh, the delete would be a little bit of an optional permission, I would say, but if you want them to be able to clean up the existing API keys when they're no longer used, that would give them permission to do that. Um, so it's high risk, but if you trust your developer, then you know, you're probably okay giving them these. If you don't trust your developer, you need to get a new developer. <laughs> All right, so this is one of the ways that they can get API keys. This is what high risk permissions is in BigCommerce. I hope that clears it up. It's a really nice feature. It's a really small feature, but uh, it's really handy to let your tech people handle your API keys, uh, which is totally their domain. So appreciate you guys being with me. I hope this helped you guys out. If you're interested in our courses or our community, check out e-commerce amplifiers. If you're interested in working with me or my team, hit us up at epicdesignlabs.com. Uh, be sure to leave me a comment if this helps you guys out or if you're stuck on anything else, let me know what you're stuck on. That might be my next video. All right. Thank you so much.